हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर फर्स्ट डिग्री डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट होमोजीनियस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन वी विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ फोर टू फाइव मेडिकल एग्जांपल्स ऑफ द डिफरेंट काइंड्स माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर घर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल डॉक्टर हरीश घर वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द वेरियस वीडियोज ऑन द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एज वेल एज मैथमेटिक्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज द फर्स्ट ऑर्डर एंड फर्स्ट डिग्री वेट इज इट इज अ वेरी स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ द डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन and it is of either one of them form clearly say that what is the order of this differential equation is 1 the order of this differential equation is 1 degree is also 1 but whether it is a linear or the non linear that's depending on the nature of f of x y how you can solve how you can find the solution of this first order first differential equation there are the various methods these two method we already discussed in our last lecture that is a vari variable separable and the linear differential equation now in this lecture we will try to explain what is the homogeneous method before we will discuss what is the homogeneous method we will first understand what is the homogeneous function when you can said a function f of x y is said to be homogeneous any function f of x y is said to be homogeneous when either of these property satisfied what is the meaning of that for any real of lambda when you consider the scale that is a shifting or scaling of this lambda of x it will be lambda raised to power n where n is the degree of this n is the degree of this function f of x comma y or you can define the function f which can be written like in this form for example if i take these three examples clearly says that if i consider the value of lambda x of y what will happen of this this is a square plus divided by here so clearly say that if you common them lambda square is common it will be cancel out it is still in the form of the f of x y where lambda is my power zero or if you want to apply this what is that your target is to express each term in the form of y upon x so what i can do i can divide it numerator and denominator by x square and it can be written like this way so clearly say that this is x raised to power n g y over x is there y g g is another function which is defined like here so since it satisfied either at both the properties so it means this is a homogeneous look about this one so clearly says that if if you consider f of lambda x and f of lambda y it is still lambda raised to power 1 is a degree of the function b if you look about that if you divide it both side by x cube then you can say x raised to power n that is a 3 and g now in this case g, this is my g this is my function of there so in these three examples all are my homogeneous function but if you look about that sometime it's a zero sometime it's a one it's a three how you can identify that look at that what is the degree of the numerator degree of the numerator is 3 what is the degree of the denominator is sorry degree of the numerator is 2 degree of the denominator is 2 so the net result is zero which match with here degree of the numerator is 2 degree of the denominator is 1 so 2 minus 1 is here there is no denominator so it means the degree is my 3 now once you are defining that this function f of x is homogeneous when either of property satisfied now a differential equation this or this is said to be a uh, homogeneous when m or n are of the same degree or you can say if function like x square plus y square for example here what is the degree of the numerator is 2 degree of the denominator is 2 so it is a homogeneous because m and n i can written this function as dy over dx is minus m over n so if m and n both have the same degree then th must remember that the same degree then only it is a homogeneous is it homogeneous yes degree 2 and 2 is it homogeneous this is the one degree this is the one degree this is one this is one this is y upon x y so this is also homogeneous but if you look about this example this is not a homogeneous clearly says that x square is a degree 2 but th this has a degree 1 it is not a homogeneous but make sure this function it may this is the function but the complete is a differential equation now the question arises this is once you have the homogeneous differential equation then how you can solve this one how you can find the solution of this differential equation so that's a very simple whenever there is a homogeneous we can cons we can use the substitution i can consider this as a v or you can take y is equal to vx once you take y is equal to vx where v is a function of the x 
then find the dy by dx by using the product tool here substitute this value in here and then we can use the separable method this is a separable method and finally we can integrate them you will get the right answer for examples we will discuss the five examples in this lecture so that you may understand very well check whether it is a homogeneous yes it is homogeneous why because the degree of the numerator and denominator one can you solve this same problem with the help of the variable separable method can you separate can you write this f of x y which is x plus y over x minus y in the form of f x into f y no it means it is it, this problem can't be solved with the help of separable also it is not a linear in that so you can't solve this with the linear method so now it's a homogeneous equation because degree are same so we can take here we can find the dy by dx it is it. we can substitute here so it will happen as this is my dy which is nothing but here what is that x plus vx over x minus vx x will be cancelled out here now our target is to find the value of the d this i can take this value as minus of v take the lcm you will get here so left hand side is my this now clearly say that now you can use the separable method why because the right hand side is only on the x uh, x and here is a v so we can take here. now you can integrate them you can solve here what is the integration of this this is nothing but the tan inverse v what is the integration of this if i divide it 2 and multiply by 2 then it will be my log of 1 plus v square this is my log of x i can take the constant as log of c now you can use them that's a very simple i can take on this side and here i can substitute the value of the v from here what is my v is y over x at here y over x at here so this is the required solution look at this this is a very important question there so you can see firstly you have to find the value of the dy by dx so which is written here make sure that the coefficient of the dy by dx should be 1 so clearly says that it's homogeneous so we can take the value of the y is equal to vx which is here substitute this value in here which this is y over x is my v this is y over x is v i can divide it this by x so it will be my y over x it is cos y over x plus y over x sin y over x divided by x is 1 so it is y over x sin minus cos of y by x so clearly say that this is v this is v and so on i can take this v on the left on the right hand side this is minus v you can take the lcm you can solve that you will get here now use the separable method you can written like this method you can separate them it is a tan what is the integration of the tan is minus of log cos x this is minus log of v it is 2 log of x plus log of c now you can solve that this is a minus i can take minus as a common it is a v cos x it is log of c x square now you can do that log of this zero what is the meaning of that that is c x square v cos of v is nothing but my 1 i can substitute the value of the v here which is the required answer this is what i can call as a c dash we have c dash is 1 by c is the another arbitrary constant look what this one so can you solve firstly you have to find the value of the dy by dx which can be written like this way clearly say that it's a homogeneous because it's a degree is 1 it is again a degree is 1 because of the this root and degree is 1 so both the numerator and denominator has the same degree i can take y is equal to vx i can substitute here we will get here this v will be cancel out i can separate the variable by using here now you can integrate them what is the integration of this you can simply use them log of ax that is a v plus of this now you can simplify them you will get as here substitute the value of the y is equal to v is equal to y over x we can simplify them you get the required solution look at the one more example are there again firstly uh, find the dy by dx firstly and check whether it's a homogeneous or not so clearly say that this is a degree 3 this is a degree 3 this is degree 3 this is degree 3 so it is my homogeneous so i can take y is equal to vx i can divide it this numerator and denominator by x cube so it is 1 plus 3y square over x square divided by this is y cube over x cube plus 3y over x so if i substitute here it is x 
this and the right hand side is minus 1 plus 3v square over v cube plus of 3 of v fine now you can take the simplify this this v i can take on the right hand side minus of v and here now you can use the separable of method this is there how you can integrate them now since it is a degree 4 and this is if i take this is v4 plus 6 v square plus 1 is equal to say t then what is the derivative of this 4 v cube plus 12 v square of dv is equal to dt so clearly say that if i divide and multiply by 4 so what will happen it is my 1 by 4 this is my dt over t this is my minus log x plus log c so what is that this is nothing but minus 1 by 4 log of small t small t is nothing but my denominator fine so i this part i can return as log c over x now i can take this 1 by 4 in the power i can take this as a power so it can be written here i can substitute the value of the v as y over x in here so this is the required solution of this differential equation so these six questions are exercise for you you can try to solve this and look about that what is the answer of this you can send me in your comment box otherwise you can simply verify that whether you are able to get these right answers or not we will see our next lecture on the exact differential equation how we can solve any of the first order first differential equation with this method till then you can simply like share and comment my these videos best of luck students happy learning